last wave was sick, hey. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. So good. So good in the morning, I love it. It's not quite so I look up at the sun. Got everything? Yep. Alright. Excited for today's practice? Can't wait. We'll go to Michael's. Wait, Michael or Mark? SK. No, it's Michael. <laughs> I hold on in my keys. Can you just wait till it's unlocked? <laughs> oh, crank the <laughs> Most people don't take drugs and drive. And if you don't, and you pull over to take a mobile drug test, or MDT as we call it, it'll just take a few minutes of your time. Taking drugs before driving puts you at greater risk of injuring or killing yourself, your mates, or other innocent people, because drugs can affect your coordination and reaction time, your muscles and vision, and your ability to judge distances and speed. So the New South Wales Police Force carries out mobile drug testing operations to prevent drug driving and to keep you, your family, your mates, and everyone else safe on our roads. You feel the last wave? Oh, yeah, that was pretty mad. It's okay. Yeah. So good. I can't stop In New South Wales, when we say drug driving, we're talking about one thing, driving after drug use. However, if you drive after taking drugs and you're caught, you can be charged with one of two different offences. The first offence is having illegal drugs present in your system when driving. The second offence is driving under the influence of drugs, including alcohol, illegal and pharmaceutical drugs, particularly if they are taken inappropriately or not as a doctor has prescribed. If you're taken to hospital to have blood and urine tests, you can be tested for a wider range of drugs. Whether you're on your L's, your P's, or you have your full licence, drug driving laws apply to all drivers. Just see how it pans out. I think he's going to Michael's as well. <laughs> You're always Small watching girl. him like a whore. No. <laughs> Mobile drug testing detects drivers who have recently used four common illegal drugs which are known to impact driving ability. Ecstasy, cannabis, cocaine and methamphetamine, which includes speed and ice. With MDT, all drivers in New South Wales can be stopped by police at any time to have their saliva tested for illegal drugs. You want to have a look at this bloke? We'll give him a test? Yeah, I think so. No, is that me? Yeah, it is. Pull over. If you are pulled over, you will need to show your licence and typically, you'll be first asked to take a random breath test for alcohol. You weren't oh, speeding, were you? I don't think so. Oh, you've been stopped for a random breath test. Yeah. Can I please see your driver's license? Yep. Thank you. Have you had any alcohol today? No. Okay. I can get you to count to 10 into this device for me and tell you when to say stop. One, two. If you pass the breath test, you will then be asked to wipe an MDT stick and down stop. your tongue to check if you have illegal drugs in your system. We're also doing mobile drug testing. If we could, get you to um, place the wipe on your tongue and wipe it from the back to the front. Thank you. The test will take about three minutes. I'll come back and see you. Just the same as a random breath test, it's an offence to refuse this test. Seems like it can be tested for anything anywhere. I'm glad I don't do drugs. I could have been busted. The results can take a few minutes and you must wait until police say you're in the clear before you can drive away. Okay, that's all fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Drive safely, have a good day. Most drivers test negative and are soon on the road again. Been stopped for a random breath test. Could I see your driver license, please? Yep. Okay, Zane, have you had any alcohol at all today? Uh, no. 
I'll just get you to count out aloud to ten for me, thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's all good. We're also doing some mobile drug testing. Have you had any illegal drugs recently? Uh, nope. Alright, I'm just going to give you a swipe where the two pink pads are. Wipe them from the back of your tongue to the front of your tongue for me. Okay. Thank you. Thanks Zane. And that'll be about three minutes. Don't eat, drink or smoke anything in the meantime. We'll be back to see you shortly. The MDT tests that we conduct at the roadside are screening tests only. If your MDT test is positive, you will be asked to provide a saliva sample that will be sent off to a laboratory. This laboratory test is highly accurate. To provide this sample, you will be taken to a roadside testing van or bus or to a police station. Before the sample is sent off to the laboratory, a second MDT screening test of the sample is conducted. He's gone positive, yep, positive to cannabis. cannabis. Okay, Zane, you've tested positive to cannabis, so you're under arrest and you need to come back into the bus for a secondary drug test. I'll get you to turn the car off for me. Uh, you're right to come too, you can wait for him. We've got some seats just outside the bus. If you have a seat there, he'll be about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, thanks. Okay, if this second MDT test is also positive, you'll be banned from driving for 24 hours. Even if your second MDT screening test is negative or inconclusive, the results will still be sent off to the lab for verification. You'll be free to go at that moment and won't be immediately banned from driving. Okay, just take hold of it like this for me. Wipe it inside the cheeks, cross your tongue, and then place it under your tongue. If the laboratory confirms a positive roadside result that drugs were in your system, police will contact you. If this is a first time offence, you can be fined and have your licence suspended for three months. You will receive notice of when your suspension starts in the mail. If this is your second offence, you'll be charged with driving with the presence of an illegal drug and be required to appear in court. Just waiting for the second test to come back. They've told me I can't leave, so it's pretty nerve-wracking. I, mean, I thought I'd be right though, you know, driving this far out of town. Okay, the machine's analysed a sample of your saliva and it's tested positive for cannabis. So you're going to receive a notice of prohibition from driving for the next 24 hours. Can your mate drive? Uh, no. Okay, okay, so he's had something too? Yeah. Alright. Um, so who are we going to organise to come and pick you up? You got parents? I guess, yeah, I can just call mum. She's probably not going to be too happy though. No, I can't imagine she would be. Yeah. Okay, alright, we'll get that organised now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I knew he'd had a smoke, but I, I thought he'd be fine. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get home or go surfing. Some illegal drugs can be detected in saliva for a number of days after drug use. It's difficult to estimate exactly how long a drug will be detectable in your system. It can depend on the type and concentration of the drug taken and can vary between individuals. If you're affected or have recently used drugs, it's simple, don't drive. If police see something out of the ordinary, like you're driving in an unusual way, they can pull you over for a random breath test. Is that for me? You have me drinking, have you? No, but I had something Good evening, madam. Uh, you've been stopped for a breath test. The reason why we stopped you, just back down the road there, you're, um, you've crossed over the double lines. No, I didn't. You're lucky you didn't hit the car that was coming in the opposite direction. Do you have your driver's licence with you? Excellent, thank you. And have you had any alcohol tonight? No. no? All right. What I'll get you to do for me, if you can, just um, count to ten into this device until I tell you to stop. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you, stop. And if this breath test is negative, and if police believe you may be under the influence of another drug, based on the way you are speaking or acting, they may ask you to complete a sobriety assessment. This can involve some simple tests that give an indication of whether you're likely to be affected by drugs. Step out of the car for me. All right, yeah. We're right here for you. Just go around onto the footpath there. Right, where have you come from tonight? Um, just a mate's house, we're at a party. Have you had any, um, any illegal drugs tonight? 
Have you had any drugs tonight? I'm a little bit concerned. Based on what, what the manner of driving that we just saw, where you crossed over the lines, I notice you're chewing a lot, um, which gives me the indication that you've got a dry mouth, which is sometimes an indication of drug use. I'm concerned that you might be driving under the influence of a, an illegal drug. So you're under arrest for the purposes of a blood and urine sample to be taken at the hospital. What happens then? The blood and urine gets tested at a lab. Once we get the results back, if they come back positive, then we'll be in contact and you'll have to appear before a court. Obviously, if the results come back negative and there's no drugs in your system, then there will, will be no contact at all and you can carry on. What about my friends? All right, are any of them in a condition to drive the car? No. In that case, what I'll do is I'll have a chat to them in a minute um, and I'll make sure that they get home safely. What about my car? Your car, unless we can get someone to come pick it up, it'll, we'll lock it up here and it'll have to stay here for the night. If you fail this assessment, you'll be arrested and police can ban you from driving for 48 hours. Just get you to take a seat in the back. They will take you to a hospital to have a blood and urine sample taken for testing. These samples are taken by trained medical staff, typically a doctor or a nurse, and are tested for a full range of illegal and pharmaceutical drugs. I can't call my mum this late on. We should have just crashed tonight at Tom's place. I had no other way of getting home. I guess I didn't think it through properly. I should have asked her. Uh, will she lose her license? Is she going to have a criminal record or go to jail? She's one of my best mates. I don't know what's going to happen with her. Oh, she must be freaking out. I'm really worried. I had a pill. It was hours ago. I thought I'd be okay by the time I drove home, but I was still out of it. What was I going to do? I was the driver. As with the saliva test, if these tests come back positive, the results will be given to you by police, in person or through the mail. You will be charged with a drug driving offence and summons to court to have the matter heard before a magistrate. You can also be suspended from driving until a charge is heard in court. If you're caught drug driving, you could be fined, lose your licence and end up with a criminal record. If you're caught with illegal drugs in your system, you could be fined and lose your licence for three months or more. If you're caught driving under the influence of illegal or prescription drugs, you could lose your licence for three years or more and could be fined over $3,000. You could also be sentenced to up to 18 months in prison. This is if it's a first offence. Higher penalties may apply for second or subsequent offences. It could get worse. The consequences of being caught drug driving can extend beyond the law. For example, if you lose your licence, you might lose your job and not be able to work. Well, it's pretty hard living out here without a licence. i got to get someone to take me to work every day. I never get down to the beach anymore. I don't get to go for a surf. I, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it if I knew it was going to have such a negative impact on my life, you know? When I took drugs, I didn't think it would still be in my system. I didn't even think it would affect my driving. And when it was time to go, it was clearly still in my system and then I got pulled over. I went to court and now I have a conviction and a criminal record. I applied for visas overseas because I wanted to travel and go overseas. But now I don't think I can do that. Mobile drug testing is more prevalent than ever. All New South Wales Police Force officers are trained to test for drug driving and are equipped with testing devices. We've significantly expanded our testing abilities statewide, including regional and rural areas, to help keep the roads safe for everyone, everywhere. And you can now be tested by police in a roadside operation or by any police car. With MDT, you can now be tested for drugs when driving, anytime, anywhere. There's no escaping it. It's not always easy to tell if someone you're driving with has taken drugs. If you think the driver may have taken drugs prior to driving, don't get in the car with them. If you feel confident enough, you can speak up and try to discourage them. By speaking up, you can be a positive influence. Better yet, plan ahead. If you think there is a chance someone you're driving with will take drugs before driving, work out another way to get around. Most young drivers and passengers do the right thing, and I hope that includes you. But even you need to know about drug driving to help you make informed decisions. Whether you yourself are driving or you're travelling as a passenger, drug driving can impair your ability to drive safely and to keep you, your mates 
and other road users safe. This is the key reason that more drug driving tests are now carried out in New South Wales. If you are affected or have recently used drugs, don't drive. It's just not worth it.